Hey guys, have you ever wanted to create your own podcast or radio show, but didn't really have the right equipment or the technological know-how? Well, with this app that we're gonna be talking about today, you can do exactly that with music, interludes, background music, all that good stuff, just from your smartphone. Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron here from Break the Internet, and we'll get back to another video today on the channel. Now, if you don't know already, today we're gonna be talking about the app called Anchor. Anchor has been around for quite some time, rolling out their first version of their app last year, and then recently within the last couple of months, upgrading to their version two, which their interface, everything that has to do with their app is absolutely amazing. Before anybody attacks me in the comments below, I am not getting paid to say this. This is just an app that I've been looking forward to for a very long time because ever since I've started making YouTube videos, people have said, oh, you should have your own radio show. You have this really great radio voice. You should be a radio personality. So embracing all those comments, I've been uploading pretty frequently on this app and I hope you guys follow me over there. So let's take a look at what this app is and exactly how to use it. Before we get too far into it guys, I want to let you know at the end of the video there's going to be a little special surprise, so just stay tuned, you're going to like it. Alrighty guys, so moving over to the phone section of today's video, when we open up Anchor for the first time, it might be a little bit different than what we're usually used to when it comes to social media, but as we swipe through, we're going to see some different stations that you can listen to on the app Anchor. So when we go all the way to the first one, the, that millennial life, we're gonna use that as an example. This is my friend Andy Burgess. We talked about him a couple days ago on our Snapchat video, but if you just click through these, you can go ahead and listen to all the different stations. So for example, we're gonna go ahead and click this station here, and we're gonna click the little up icon, and it's gonna show us the part of the station that we can actually listen to. So you can swipe through all these. You can swipe forward, you can swipe backward, and to listen to it, we can go ahead and just sit here and listen. Now to go ahead and give them some feedback, we can clap, give them some applause, and it's just gonna go through and it's gonna play uh, what he has to say, and obviously there's a little title here, shows a little title of the podcast or the station we're listening to, uh, last time that they uploaded on that station, and then you can add that to your own personal station to kind of, they used to call it Echo, but now you're just adding it to your station. You can either pause it, you can, like I said, give it applause, or you can go to the next section, but you can also swipe through to the next part if you wanted to do that. Also down below, we have the call in, the favorite, and the share. So calling in, essentially, if I wanted to say something to him, let's just say in his why I'm moving to London, I wanted to call in and say, wow, that's great. I can click call in. And while I hold down this button, I can go say, hey, Andy, that's awesome. That's cr great that you're moving to London, blah, blah, blah. And I can say whatever I want to. So in that, I can edit it, all that good stuff. We're not gonna go ahead and do that just yet but we can still swipe through all that good stuff, see what he has to say, and then also share to share just that little section and that segment or share the link to the entire station. So that's what you can do with the actual uh, stations itself. And up top, I can click this little button where I can either hear in speaker, telephone mode, where I have to actually hold this up to my ear, and I can hear it in different speeds. So fast, faster, and then applause can be either on or off. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the stations. You can do pretty much the exact same thing with all of those. And then we can hear the little search icon where we can search for a specific one. If you wanna search for my station, it is um, top five central. And we can go to either news, sports, entertainment, whatever we want to. But the main thing I wanted to look at in today's video is the little plus icon, which adds things to your personal station. So there's a couple little buttons down here. We'll go through each and every one of them, but it's going to default here on the record section. So you can do it a couple different ways. You can either hold down on the record button and it'll go ahead and start recording your voice or once you hold sorry once you hold the phone up to your ear the screen will, will go black and then you can talk right into the mic and that is when you're going to be recording when you pull it off it'll stop and you can do a couple different things so you can swipe through here and you can swipe through the different video or swipe through the different background sounds and when we click play, you're gonna obviously hear your, the audio as well as the music in the background. So you see if it kind of fits. Obviously, if you're talking about something scary, you're gonna want like a little bit of a darker uh, song. And if you're talking about something happy, maybe something a little bit more upbeat and more happy. So when we're done there, we can click check and we can add to our station. So we can say, hello, testing. Done and add to the station. So once we do that, we're gonna add it to our station and that's pretty much it. So if we wanna add like a music, like as a actual segment, we can say like, let's just say we wanna put like John Bellion. I really like his all time low song. John Belly, uh, John Bellion. 
We can play it and listen to it. <laughs> and we can add that, add to the station, and it's gonna say published, and we know that it's up there. So down here as well, we can do interludes. So let's just say we wanna play one of these in between something we're saying, kind of like just to interlude into the next segment. We can do call-ins, so if someone is calling in, right here someone's called in with top five celebrity booties, I'm not gonna do that one specifically, but we can go ahead and either play that, listen to each of the call-ins, and we can also click add to our station and we'll then add that to our station as a part of our station as well. And then clips is just different things that people have uploaded where you can add to. Some of them are blurbs from different, uh, from different podcasts or stations here on Anchor. Some are from different videos on YouTube, and you can just search for them if you wanted to. And the last little button is interviews, which is a really cool feature because what you can do is you can go through your contacts, dial a number, or you can dial a number, and you would call them and it records everything to put into your station. Next, we have the little notification bell. So this is gonna let you know if someone has either called into your station, favorited your station, or if Anchor wants to tell you any awesome news, it'll have it right there under the bells. And then under the profile, very standard profile stuff, is you can edit your profile, so you can click edit profile. You can change your name, your anchor URL. If you want to go ahead and add me on mine, anchor.fm slash top five, go to that URL and make your account. You can go to your description. You can make your website URL so people can link out to that. You can check or change the color scheme, uh, attach your Facebook, your Twitter, your Apple Music, and Spotify. And then the My Station, you can auto archive. Um, so when you actually upload something and 24 hours goes away, it'll actually archive it down here. So that's something that I didn't say. Um, that's a really big part of this is when you upload something, it's going di to disappear in 24 hours, like a Snapchat story or an Instagram story, whatever it may be. So down here shows what I have uploaded. So if I click play, it's gonna go ahead and test all the stuff that I have on there and I can swipe through and it'll let me know what I have going on on my station. And then if that person wanted to, they can go ahead and share it. As promised for you guys, a little surprise, I'm gonna be live making an episode of Top 5 Central, but it's not gonna be Top 5. It is going to be an interview with the CEO and co-founder of Anchor, Mike McNano. So hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what is going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Top 5 Central. Now, this is going to be a little bit different because we're not doing Top 5. We are going to be doing an interview with the CEO, the CEO and co-founder of Anchor, Michael McNano. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, on to the second part. Mike, super amazing to have you on today's show. Uh, before we get too far into it, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Hey, my name is Michael Magnano, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Anchor. All right, Mike, so let's talk about the origins of Anchor. I mean, the, the idea is amazing, the interface is awesome. Uh, with all these emerging platforms, where did you get the idea to essentially go, quote unquote, backwards to radio? Well, radio has definitely been around for a while. In fact, radio is actually a 100-year-old format. Digital audio is exploding. People are listening to audio through their mobile devices, their smartphones, their computers like never ever before. Podcasting is exploding. In fact, almost 100 million Americans listened to a podcast last year and that number continues to grow year over year. So to answer your question, Aaron, where did we get the idea to essentially go backwards to radio? We actually feel like we're going forwards in that we're making it really, really easy to create audio. So for as long as this format has been around, uh, it's been really hard to create. And the hope with Anchor is that we can make it so easy that anyone can create audio. You know, Mike, I love what you said about being able to give people the opportunity to create something they've never done before. Like anyone can have their own radio station. And that's kind of where I've struggled with before. I've always wanted to have a podcast, but I never had the technological know-how to be able to put on a production that people would want to listen to. So speaking of technology, WWDC this year, you're watching the, the broadcast and you see Anchor is broadcasted on the big screen. What is your, what was your reaction? What's your team's reaction when you saw that at the actual WWDC event. Seeing Anchor in the WWDC keynote was awesome. Seeing the app featured on the big screen in front of thousands in person and streamed to millions uh, on the web was definitely thrilling for the team. People were super excited. Um, we all always watch the WWDC keynote and all of the Apple keynotes and the Google keynotes. So to, uh, to see uh, the app, the product that we built, be featured uh, in something that we all watch regularly was definitely pretty exciting. 
Well, my friend, hats off to you and your team for being able to create such a great product where Apple's like, hey, like, let's show this in front of millions of people at our keynote. Uh, besides all the businessy stuff and I mean, talking about Anchor, what does it look like at, in the life of a CEO of Anchor? Like, what, what do you do from when you wake up to when you go to sleep at night? Like, what does that look like? So my day starts by getting into the office pretty early, making some coffee and then kicking off the day with a stand-up meeting uh, with the rest of the team. We go over what we've worked on, what we will be working on, if anyone's blocking anyone else. And then the rest of my day is mostly spent doing product work, uh, designing features for the app, planning out roadmap, strategizing, and working with our product team and our engineers uh, to keep the product moving forward and, and shipping updates to both the iOS app and the Android app. Um, I, you know, I really stay involved in the product. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's what I'm really passionate about. And so uh, I really enjoy getting to design a lot of the interfaces and the UX and uh, the screens that all the users interact with. I love what you said about being hands-on because you have some CEOs that don't really care too much about their employees and their product. And they're kind of just like, you guys do this and this. When you are actually at the front lines of development and actually designing things yourself and making sure the UI works great. So that's awesome. Uh, one more thing, Mike, before you go. I know you probably can't answer much questions about this, but what are some features that we should be looking forward to? Are there any particular features that you're like, oh my God, I can't wait to unleash this? Or is it kind of one of those things where you can't talk about it? While I can't name any specific features, I can definitely say that we're going to continue to put out features that make it really easy to get super creative and make really, really high quality audio. We want to make sure everyone has the ability to create audio and get heard and get their voice out there. And there is one thing in particular that's coming out very soon that I think you're all going to be super excited about. So I can't wait for you to see it. Oh, of course you have to leave us with a cliffhanger. All right, Mike, thank you so much for coming on to this interview. I know my YouTube viewers, as well as the people listening live on Anchor, are going to be super excited to see a, an exclusive interview with the CEO of Anchor. I know you're a super busy guy, but I just wanted to go ahead and say thanks for coming on. And that's it. Another episode in the books here on Top 5 Central. Don't worry, Top 5s will be coming back within the next couple of days. If you want to call in for any suggestions or call in and say hello to Mike, I'm sure he's going to be listening to this and all the call-ins. So make sure you call in and say what's up. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Have a great day. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this kind of content as far as other apps besides Snapchat, please let me know down in the comment section below. And also punching that like button will let me know as well. Anyway, guys, my name is Aaron from Break the Internet, your number one stop shop for internet tips, tricks, updates, and everything you need to know about all social media. Of course, guys, as always, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.